This is Rap the News. Salvation of the Gentiles can only come through the Hebrew black man. Scriptures are going to prove all things. I have to prove nothing. The scriptures is going to tell you directly how this works. If you do not obey the scriptures and how it works, you will burn in hell for eternity. Let's get into it. Salvation of the Gentiles can only come through the Hebrew black man. Isaiah 49, 6. He says, it is not enough for you to be my servant, raising up the tribes of Jacob, always the house of Israel first, and restoring the protected ones of Israel. I will also, next, make you a light for the Gentiles. Anybody going to a Gentile that's a Gentile is lost. They not your light. God said he making who a light for the Gentiles? The black man a light for the Gentiles. What's the light? Somebody bringing, the light means the Torah and the law or the commandments. That's the light. I will also make you a light for the Gentiles. A servant bringing the law to the Gentiles. To be my salvation to the ends of the earth. So salvation is coming through what? The black man. To be my salvation. Unto who? Gentiles. Again, any Gentile going to a Gentile. You go to Paul Bagley, Watchman for That Great Day. Uh, Monkey Mom, all of them. You're going to be lost. You are lost. Proverbs 6.23 for the commandments is a lamp and the law is a light. We are going to bring you what? The commandments and the law. To who? The Gentiles. First the house of Israel and then to the Gentiles. What do you think a lamp to the Gentiles mean? The law. You bring in the law to them. Because what? They are the lawless ones. It says in Corinthians, it says in Thessalonians that one of them, that the Gentiles don't have God's written law. John 4.22 You worship you know not, so you worship what you don't know. We worship what we worship. We know what we worship because salvation comes from the Jews. To who? The Gentiles. Again, it, it ain't no error in the words. Salvation comes from the Jews. We are a light to the Gentiles. We are the lamp. We are the law. Okay. The scriptures is going to prove it. And it, the scriptures are proving it. Romans eleven twenty six, And so all of Israel shall be saved as it is written. It ain't mentioned in one Gentile. There shall come out of Sion the deliverer. Right? And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Let's go back up to it. It is not enough for you to be uh, my servant raising up the tribes of Jacob and restoring the protected ones of Israel. Israel, Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. Who's taking away our sins? Definitely it ain't Christ. It's God. So watch this. Jesus answered, Matthew 15, 24. I was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I'm only sent to them. He wasn't sent to uh, Gentileville. And y'all know it. He, what did he say to the, the uh, Caucasian woman? It is not meant to give the bread of the, of the children of Israel to the dogs. That's point blank, right? Because he wasn't sent to you. That's why it ain't meant. Matthew 18, 11. For the Son of Man has come to save that which was lost. So again, saying it again. I only come to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I come to save them. 
He didn't come to save the world. That's a lie. It's a pagan infiltrated lie to give Gentiles hope. Why? Because Gentiles don't want to obey the law. What's the law? Bow down to the black man and let the light come through him to you. No, we're better. We're above. They're beneath us. We're smarter. And just like I said, hell will be packed full of high IQ Gentiles. Packed. They're too smart for their own damn good. You know, you can't get past the law or around the law. When the Gentiles disobey the law, they will be destroyed, says the Bible in the New Testament. You go research that. God strongly expresses how he feels about the Gentiles. Isaiah 40, 17, and I've been telling you over and over again, you can ignore the truth, but you're going to burn for it. You can hate the truth, but you're going to burn for it. All nations before God are as nothing. Let me say it in, in layman terms. Y'all ain't shit. All the Gentiles before him are nothing. And they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. All right. Again, behold, the nations are as a drop of the bucket and are counted as small as the small dust of the balance. Dust don't weigh nothing on the balance. Nothing is what you come up to. You. Leviticus twenty twenty three. And you shall not walk in the manner of the Gentiles which I cast out before you. They committed all these things, and therefore I abhorred them. Abhorred mean what? I told you before, he can't stand you. Okay. Am, am I saying this? This is what I made up? I went back 2,300 years ago and wrote this in the Bible? I don't think so. And you know I didn't write it. We don't like what you're saying. That's your problem. Turn away and go to hell. Ain't you used to doing that? God proves that there was no salvation for the Gentiles unless it came from us. Jeremiah 30, 11, For I am with thee, says the Lord, to save you, black man, though I make a full end of all the nations, whether I scatter thee, Yet I will not make a full end of you, black man. I'm going to kill all the Gentiles where you are in the transatlantic slave trade. But I'm going to save you, black man. Why is he going to destroy all the Gentiles? What happened to Jesus saves? I told y'all it was a lie. Romans 2.12 When the Gentiles sin, go against the commandment of God, they will be destroyed, even though they never had God's written law. What did the law command that you do? Number one, God is going to make the black man a light for the Gentiles. If you in a white church, you already astray. If you in a white church, you already astray. If you in a damn church, you probably astray as well. Because we bring in the law, right? Obadiah one eighteen, And there shall not be any remainder of the house of Esau, the white man. For the Lord has spoken it. You going to go around God? Y'all think y'all going to get the mediator to go th go uh, cut God out? And then y'all going to bypass God and get into God's heaven? Y'all silly as hell, man. The only way a Gentile can be saved... It's through the house of Israel, the black man. That's the only way you're going to get the salvation. Again, John 4, 22. You worship what you know not. We worship what we, we know what we worship because salvation comes from the Jews. Genesis 12, 3. And I will bless them that bless you. And I will curse him that curses you. And these shall all the families of the earth be blessed. In you, shall all the Gentiles be blessed. What do you mean, families of the earth? Gentiles. You should know what it means. 
In you, salvation comes from us, out of us to you. That's how God made it work. No, we're arrogant, we're prideful, we're above. Uh, sure you are. You are dropping a bucket. That's how God taught you. You are dropping a bucket, you meaningless. Genesis 18, 18. See that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, the Hebrew, the black man. And all of the nations, that's the Gentiles, of the earth shall be blessed in him. In the black man, in the seed of Abraham. Because go, go, go dig up Abraham and get the blessing out of his chest. If you want to be stupid like that. Genesis twenty two eighteen, And in thy seed, the Hebrews, the black man, shall all the nations, the Gentiles of the earth be blessed. Because thou hast obeyed my voice. In the black man is salvation. You got some motherfucker opening up some black man's chest. Where's the salvation? <laughs> you know what I mean? They're that damn ignorant, man. God expresses why he has a problem with the Gentiles and offers a solution. And just like I said, you don't have to listen to me. I've been right the whole damn time. You can keep listening to what you used to listening to and burn in hell following the majority when only a handful of people going to make it. Genesis 25, 23. And the Lord said unto her, who is that? Rebecca. Two nations are in your wombs. What did that mean? Two manner of people. What does it mean? A Gentile is in your womb and a Hebrew is in your womb. The Gentile shall serve the Hebrew. The Gentile came out first. It always comes out first. The Gentile was created first. When it was Cain, it came out first. And shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder, who is Esau, the white man, shall serve the younger, Jacob, the black man. Again, what is it telling you? What do you mean? Nations. The nation of whites shall what? Bow and serve the nation of blacks. What do you think the devil came and, de and deceived the nations? He turned it around backwards. He got y'all thinking we serve you. No, we were sent here as a punishment for disobeying God. For following y'all fake, fake ass gods. That's why we're here. Genesis 27, 29. Let the people serve you. Who is the people? The nations, the Gentiles. And, and the Gentiles or the nations bow down to you. We're the nations again. Gentiles. Do what? Bow down to you. Be Lord over thy brethren. The elder shall serve the younger. And let thy mother's son bow down to you. Esau, bow down to Jacob, the black man. Curse be everyone that curse you because of that. And blessed be everyone who blesses you because of that. What do you think it's talking about? You think it's going to jump to something else? No, nah, it's talking about that subject matter. Curse be everyone who curses you because they don't want to bow down to you. And blessed be everyone that blesses you who can bow down and obey the order. Why? Ezekiel 35, 5. Because you, white man, have had a perpetual hatred against Jacob, the black man. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword in the time of their calamity. Ezekiel 35 9. And I will make thee a perpetual desolation for your perpetual hatred. I'm going to do what? I'm going to make you desolate. I'm going to wipe out your land, clear it out, make it flat. And the city shall be not and shall not return. And there shall not be no more remaining of the house of Israel uh, uh, 
I ate them, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Joel 3.19, Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. Why? Because the majority of white people ain't going to listen. Edom is the white man. For the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. Right? He keeps telling you why. Because you got a hatred and you murder the black man. You got a hatred to the black man and you murder us. The lion has come up from his thicket, Jeremiah 4, 7. And the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make their land desolate and their city shall be laid waste without inhabitant. Where is it going? Gentileville. Without inhabitant. It's going to clear out your whole land. Without inhabitant. It's going to make a full end of Gentiles. Anybody heard of the Hebrew destroyer? The black man destroyer? Nah. The white man destroyer. The white man will tell you itself. Because they, they think that they're mankind. Um, we are a parasite, says the white man. You take us off of the earth and the earth is better already. Exactly. You said it yourself. June 1919. These are the people who divide you, who? The Gentiles, who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the spirit. They don't have the spirit. So the only, only way to get to God is go through somebody who the spirit was breathed into. It wasn't breathed into the beast of the field, which is the white man, the Gentile, the heathen. And I'm only speaking the truth. The truth Sounds like hate. You know. It always does. When you have been lied to your whole damn life. And you thought you was something that you wasn't. Jeremiah 23 two. Therefore this is what the Lord. The God of Israel says to the shepherds. Who tend to my people. This is what he says to the white man. Who tend to the people of Israel. Because you have scattered my flock. Transatlantic slave trade. And driven them away and have not bestowed care on them. God wants you to do what? Bestow care on them. I will bless everyone. Let's go to it, man. I know you always forget. Curse be everyone that curse you and bless be one everyone who blesses you. Bless is the one who cares for you, black man. Then he's a blessed white man. Again. Say to the shepherds who tend to my people. The nations. Because you have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not bestowed care on them. I will bestow punishment on you for the evil you have done declares the Lord. So what is the day of Lord? Look it up in the Bible. It is the day when Edom will be paid back for everything that it done to Israel. That's exactly what it says. It is the day when Edom shall be paid back for all that it did to Israel. Y'all got to wake up. And so again, salvation is of the Jews. The black man is a light for the Gentiles. If you're a Gentile and you've been sticking with rap, you the smart one. You the one who get it. You can let all the rest of them go to hell because they want to go to hell badly. When they get there and they don't ever drink for eternity, they're going to figure out that they really needed something to drink. Uh, you do without water all damn day. Do without water for two days and tell me how you feel. Then do without water in a fire, a blazing ass fire. The intensity 70 times hotter than the earth. And then tell me how you feel at the end of the damn day. Because you a stubborn ass bitch who don't want to bow down to the black man. Let's wrap the news.